From Macau to Miami, the concept of serving an appetizing meal in a tasty edible wrapper has acquired almost universal popularity. And today's menu features a wrap with an Indian twist. We're wrapping it up in the kitchen and I'm making puri wraps. It's my very own Indian twist. Puri is an Indian flatbread, it's deep fried. For the filling, we've got prawn and a saffron chicken. I'm starting out by making the bread and for that I've got some cake flour here in a mixing bowl. To this, melted butter. Add some black pepper, a few pinches of salt, say about three, and work those ingredients together until they resemble breadcrumbs. It's quite easy, there's no need to use a mixer for this. To this, add water, not all of it, and start working that into a dough. A little more water going in, that should do. Puris are really simple to make. It does take a touch of practice though. Keep adding water as you need. I actually needed all of that. To this, add oil. And continue kneading. When the dough is left to rest, it softens further. You can lose the bowl. Use the work surface and, and knead until smooth. These breads are best eaten freshly made. Slice down the center in half again, and then into quarters. Roll each ball until smooth, just gathering up the edges and pressing them into the center, and that's quite smooth. Flatten slightly and leave this under a damp towel that prevents it from drying out. I'm making large puris today. You can size them down if you like, especially if you're making them for a cocktail party. When you're learning how to make roti, the aunties normally put you on puri duty first, and that's because they're smaller and they're easier to roll. Pressing quite hard as I roll. That's the last one done. For the chicken filling, we're going to start out by heating a pan and then adding some sunflower oil. My daughter Tanvi likes it quite mild, and my son prefers spicier food. So the mild chickens for Tanvi, the spicy prawns for Rochelle. And flavor the oil with some whole spices. I've got cinnamon and bay leaf here. Some cumin seeds as well going in. Cinnamon's starting to sizzle around the edges. Stir that through, onions going into the hot oil. Stir that in, season with salt, about a teaspoon of coarse salt going in. To this, fresh thyme. Onions are golden brown, add some garlic. Red chili powder. I need a bit, not too much. Heat the chili powder through and add the chicken fillet. Cook the chicken over a high heat. You want the meat to seal and not stew. If you're doubling up on this chicken, remember to use a large pan. The meat should go over in a single layer. The chicken sealed, spicing it up again. Garam masala, some ground coriander, a pinch of turmeric, and I've got some spicy Indian rub here. It's got a touch of chili flakes, no seeds. Stir that in. You can see the chicken's frying quite nicely. The moisture's evaporated. To this, add some chopped tomato. Use the wooden spoon and break down the lumps. I've got some saffron strands here. I've dry roasted this in a hot pan. And to this, add some water. And as soon as it starts to infuse, you get this bright yellow color coming through. That looks really good. Leave it for a few minutes. The tomatoes have cooked down, and they cook quite quickly, especially if you're using ripe tomatoes. The riper the better, they have more flavor, and they dissolve quite easily as well. Make a well in the center, in goes the saffron infusion. A touch of water will prevent the chicken from drying out too much. That's ready. Switch off the heat, let's start with the prawns. For the prawns, start out again with some oil. This takes about five to six minutes to cook. It's almost like you're stir-frying a curry. Add some mustard seeds. They hit the oil and start to splatter almost immediately. Cumin going in. In goes the chopped onion. Some dried curry leaves. Some salt. Fry these onions until they're golden. The onions have browned. Add some ginger and garlic paste. Add some red chili powder onto the side of the pan. Chopped green chili. 
mix that through and add chopped tomatoes. Once the oil starts to separate, you can see the tomatoes are roasting quite nicely in the pan. Spice it up with some garam masala, some coriander, and a generous pinch of turmeric. I'm using real proper prawns for this dish. I've shelled and deveined them myself. Prawns going in. Make sure they're nicely drained. Don't want too much water in here. Turn up the heat and saute them through. Prawns take about 60 seconds to cook, not longer. The mistake we often make is to overcook them. Last ingredient, black pepper going on top. Prawns ready. Let's leave this aside. Moving on to the puris. The first thing we need to do is to start heating up some sunflower oil. Pop that on to medium heat. And to roll these out, they've been resting under a damp cloth. They've softened up nicely. Flatten them. Touch of flour going onto the work surface. They are slightly sticky, which is great. We don't want them too dry. I'm pressing down slightly harder on the one side to the other and this gets the dough to turn around. It takes a bit of practice, but it can be done. That's what the puri looks like. You can see these black flecks coming through from the pepper. Adds a lovely bite. I'm gonna show you a different way to roll these. That's if you can't get the dough to turn around. Place the dough on a floured surface. Place your hands firmly on top of the rolling pin. Don't use the handles. That creates uneven pressure. So you might have a thin on one side and thick on the other. So just roll up and down, all the way to the top and to the bottom. A small turn, roll again. This is just until you get the knack of rolling these out. And there we have it, the next one done. Remember, frying the first puri is like making the first pancake. It never turns out right. Press that down, keep turning it, bubbles up. This is the first puri and it's puffed up beautifully. It's really a miracle. Puri. Press that down again, keep turning it. It's puffing up beautifully. You know the puri is cooked when the oil stops sizzling. Don't be too impatient and whatever you do, don't stick your finger into that bubble. Remove that from the hot oil and leave it on a rack to drain. My son loves Mexican food and this was my version of the Mexican taco. Switch off the oil and leave that to drain. Time to assemble the wraps. We've got the saffron chicken here and the spicy prawn. To go with this, we've got some crumbled feta, coriander, thinly sliced red onion, grated carrot, mango chutney, coriander chutney, and of course we've got those fried puris here. They're still quite crispy. We're gonna just fold these over once I fill them. I think I need some grated cheese. And I've sent my daughter to get it. Tanvi, do you have the cheese? Yes. Perfect. What do you feel like, love? I feel like a toasted wrap with lots of cheese. You're so predictable, Tanvi. But anyway, I've been heating up the pan for you. Let's get your wrap in. Okay, do you want feta or do you want uh, grated cheese? Grated cheese. Grated cheese. Okay, layer of grated cheese going in. And obviously you're having the chicken. Place some of the chicken filling on top. You sure you don't want any feta? Okay, I'll have a little bit. A touch convincing you to have some feta. Okay. Red onion, coriander, what would you like? Red onion. Red onion. Sprinkle that over. Tanvi, place another wrap on top, press down. Let's get a lifter. Drizzle a bit of olive oil over Tanvi and let that toast for a bit. That's just to prevent it from getting too dry. There we go. If you don't want these wraps toasted, I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. Get some chicken into the center. Got some green chutney going on. Smear that over using the back of a teaspoon. Coriander and red onion. Some carrot. The messy part is to roll this up. Now tightly roll them. They are delicious. And that's the first wrap done. Looks pretty perfect. Tanvi, how's your wrap? Almost ready. Almost ready? Can we get it out the pan? Aha, uh -huh, let me help you. Remember when the cheese melts, it glues everything into place. Quite easy to lift. Top that with a bit more carrot. 
some coriander and red onion. Looks like a little salad going on top. And now to finish up on the puri, we've got my Indian version of the Mexican taco. Some coriander chutney going on top. This is gonna soften the puri slightly. Next in go the prawns. I'd say about five to six prawns per puri. More coriander going in. Some red onion. This adds a lovely crunch, slight sweetness as well. And just fold that up like this. And that's what it looks like. Pretty amazing. Is that on the back table? Could you get the last one? It's so awesome having you in the kitchen with me. Thanks, darling. We've got the prawn puris. We've got a variation on the wraps. Inside them, I've got that saffron chicken. We've also got spicy prawn that I've used for the puris. And we even have some puri left over for tea. Tanvi, I think it's time to get your brother. He must be hungry. Okay. And that's a wrap. <laughs>